Okay, this is a basic review on two-term and three-term ratios. So remember, um, when you're doing ratios, what you're doing is you're comparing two things, or sometimes you're comparing three things. So in this case, we've got two different items that we're comparing. We're comparing uh, just red circles here to the blue stars. And what we do is we are going to say, well, first we're going to count the number of uh, circles. In this case, we have three circles and we have uh, five stars. Now, when we are talking in ratios, we always refer to them as two. So we have a ratio of three to five. So this is what's called a part to part. Because what we are comparing is we are comparing two separate things to each other. We're comparing the red circles to the blue stars. So the part would be the red circles compared to the part of blue stars. Now, if we wanted to do a, a ratio of part to whole, we could compare either the red circles or the blue stars to the entire number. So, for example, let's say we wanted to find out right here. What would be the part of red circles compared to the whole number of images that are, are symbols that are on, on the page here? So, we know that we have three red circles to the total. Well, we have three here plus another five here, so that is a total of eight. So, if we are looking at a part to whole, we are looking at three parts of circles to the whole number of images, which is eight. Okay, let's take a look now at a three term. Now this is considered, you, sorry, these are considered two term ratios because you get term one and you get term two. So term one and term two. The same for both of these here. These are both term ones, these are both term twos. Okay. Let's take a look at a three-term ratio as a little reminder. Right now, we're going to be doing a comparison here. This would be considered a three-term ratio. So, we have three red circles to five blue stars to four uh, green squares. And that is simply a three-term ratio. This would be term one, this would be term two, and this would be term three. Now, these are right now represented as a part to part to part. We're comparing three different parts. Now, we can take out any one of these and compare them in a part to whole. So let's, for example, decide that we want to do a, uh, we want to compare term three in a part to whole. Part to whole. So we know that there are four green squares and we are comparing it to the entire number. So we have four here plus five here plus three here. So we get 9 and 3 is 12. So our part to whole ratio in this case would be 4 uh, to 12. So it would be 4 green squares to 12 total. Okay? This is just a simple little review to remind you of term 1, term 2, and the difference between part to whole and part to part, and the difference between a two-term and a three-term ratio.